Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to become a tasker and start earning money by helping others with their tasks? In this video, I will guide you through the process of becoming a tasker on TaskRabbit. From creating your profile to setting your availability and completing the onboarding process. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So back to you guys, this is like the website that we are going to go for, which is taskrabbit.com. Simply guys, to be able to, have, to become a tasker, so what you have to do is, let me just copy this link real quick, and I will open it for example in incognito window, as you may see. And all you have to do is simply go ahead into this URL section, so you go to the website, and then click on become a tasker. Through this, all you have to do is simply earn money your way. So here you choose the area that you are going to be able to work in. As an example, you can choose all of these areas. For example, you can go for New York City. Here it is. And then you have to choose the category that you are interested to work in. For example, there is so many kinds of categories as arts and crafts, automotive, baby proofing, cleaning, there is uh, electrical help, like literally every single thing that you might think of, you will find it here. From photography, um, like development, web design, waiting in line. Imagine you can even work as someone who waits in line for others and then you will get paid like $23 per hour. So how to get started? It is simply by clicking on get started through here and then fill these informations from email, first name, last name, your mobile phone, and then you should create a password. Then I acknowledge that I am sole proprietor. Then you will have to go ahead and install the application of TaskRabbit on your mobile. So as you may see here, you can find it both in iOS and Android. So let me just show you real quick how to download it. So guys, as you might see, now I'm on, I am on like a, a virtual mobile. So what I'm going to do simply is I'm going to go here and search for a Tasker by TaskRabbit APK. And then I'm going just to download it through here. So I can use this block and then I'm going to click here to download it. It is as simple as that. Of course, if you are from the US, you can simply find it on your App Store or your Google Play. You might find it on both. But for me, since I'm not in UK, I'm not even nearby there, I have to go through this process which is downloading the APK and then having a VPN working as the US IP and then I will be able later on to download it and have the access to my account. Other than that, I will not have the access. So now I will just turn on the security, go back now, uh, go here, details, and I'm going to fix it real quick. Go here, download it once more, since I didn't give the permission for my browser to download it. Or you can simply go to download and then click for example on this one and then open it. It is as simple as that. So I will be downloading it real quick and I'll be right back to you guys. So now I'm gonna click on install and it will be installing right after that. Now the app, the app has been installed successfully. So all I'm going to do is click on download. So click on open and here we go guys. So this is the app, click on it. And it will be opened. So I will just open it real quick and be right back. So in general guys, if the application didn't open for you, you can just go to the App Store or the App Center for example in my case, search for Tasker and you might just go for it, search for it in Google Play and then update it through here. So now for me it is working 100%. Now let's go back to PC to show you the rest of the process. So right after guys you create your account and you launch it on your phone. Of course, you have to launch it on your phone. So then from there, you will have to send them some verification as your picture, your driving license, passport, anything that makes sure that you is you. So you are the real person, you are the owner of the account. Then the next thing to do is simply go ahead into your 
uh, your account so here you'll find your task to go to your task to see if you have any task in your agenda so have something else to do list you can here check it off later here you can book your next task so you can search for any task through here for example you can go to help moving here we go and then you can choose the start address so in case you'd like to create any task so you can choose the start address the end address the task options and the details of your task and from there you will have the task created for other things to book a task or to see your tax uh, task i mean you can go here to, to go here and check it from here to check it off your list so as i said here you will be creating it now here there is this get ten dollars if you are interested in getting free ten dollars from the website itself you can just simply copy this link as you may see here and send it to a friend it is very easy to get it guys and the process will not be that hard so just copy this link from here and give it to a friend and when they create an account and they start making tasks and booking tasks they will be giving you like the website itself will be giving you ten dollars as a thanks for bringing new customers to it so this is as simple as that guys as i said it is not hard to be a tasker or start working as a tasker in this uh in this uh, platform all you have to do is as i said go ahead and make a tasker don't sign up as a normal account as i showed you so if i you signed up like a normal account so here let me just open another one cognito so if you just try to sign up and slash login through here they will not actually give you uh, the same things so they will give they will not give you how to create tasks for yourself they will not give you how to maintain your own task what are your billings etc you will be just a normal user who will order people not create tasks to people so they can order from him so this is the difference between these two sections so make sure that you are going through the one that i've shown you which is become a tasker and of course you will need a mobile guys a mobile is really essential through this process you will need both mobile and pc because in pc you will be creating your account and in mobile you will be verifying your identity from sending the picture of yourself sending like the license id or something like that of course you might tell me i have pictures on my pc no the verification process will only work on your mobile because the first process when you open your mobile account on the phone they will directly ask you for verification on pc they will not bother themselves to do so so that's what you have to check that you have before you do anything in task so thank you guys for a lot for watching till this moment and see you guys in the next tutorial